Good morning, crypto maniacs. I'm over here on CoinClarify.com checking out this article. Cypherglass offers a $100,000 EOS hardware wallet bounty. I'll have it linked down below. Now, uh, there is no hardware wallets that exist right now that support EOS coins just yet. And because of that, Cypherglass, a block producer on the EOS blockchain, they're offering a bounty, $50,000 bounty to those that could create EOS coin support on the Ledger Nano S hardware wallet and an additional $50,000 bounty to those that can create EOS coin support on the Trezor hardware wallet. So as of late, there is yet a hardware wallet that supports EOS coins. Hopefully the Cypherglass bounty will create an incentive to, for the developers to make that happen soon. Now, uh, there is some software wallets out there that do exist for the EOS blockchain. And today we'll be talking about the top EOS wallet so far. It's the voice of the blockchain here. Satoshi's big cousin, cryptography's finest, Champagne Crypto. Thanks for tuning in. Big shout out to all the crypto maniac boomers out there deep in the foxholes of the blockchain battlefield trenches. Guys, if you haven't already, make sure you're kabooming the likes, kabooming the subscribe, and kabooming the post notification bells. Staying tuned in to the good crypto word that we spread here daily. Let's get straight to it, guys. The top EOS wallet so far. I'm over here on get-scatter.com. Now, scatter appears to be the most popular method of logging into the EOS blockchain portals. Scatter is a Chrome extension or a Firefox add-on that supports uh, your EOS private keys. Basically, it um, protects your keys and it acts as an intermediary as you log in to uh, these EOS portals, these EOS blockchain portals like toolkit.genereos.io slash tool. Now, Genereos is a block producer candidate and they've created this web toolkit that allows you to look up EOS accounts, create EOS accounts, uh, manage your proxies, buy and sell RAM on the EOS blockchain and vote for candidates and also uh, bid on name auction on those premium name auctions. Now, to use this toolkit, this basically, this is a online wallet. To use this, you Scatter is required to send uh, transactions. So you go over there to getscatter.com, install that. It's an extension in your browser, and that allows you to log into different uh, websites that support the EOS blockchain. Now, this website here, toolkit.genereos.io, is a so far uh, one of the better websites that I've seen that acts as a wallet. Okay, so check that out. They also have a new interface at eostoolkit.io, a better interface. It's basically the same thing, uh, just, you know, with a better looking interface. And let's just check that out real quick, eostoolkit.io, so you guys could see that. And then you can see here, it starts off with a summary or a, a, the entire uh, EOS blockchain constitution. And then you could also find accounts, create accounts, transfer EOS, which is uh, send and receive, and then you can manage your account. Uh, stake as well. So definitely check out this EOS toolkit.io by Jenner EOS. And Jenner EOS, I said this yesterday on my video, they've earned my vote for block producer. I went back and I used a um, the gray mass wallet and I'll show you guys, um, I showed you guys how to use the gray mass EOS wallet for block producer voting. Now this gray mass wallet also serves uh, as a wallet for sending and receiving and for managing your stake as well. Uh, this entire video uh, shows the EOS gray mass wallet and uh, more in more detail and I'll have it linked down below but you guys could see a screenshot here of that EOS voter wallet you can see here you could transfer tokens update your staked EOS you could vote and this one uh, is the one I've been using okay so far the one I've been using is this gray mass wallet okay uh, and let's go over here to eosrio.io now EOS Rio has recently um, offered and uh, created this simple EOS uh, software wallet, a simple and secure EOS wallet, okay? This allows you to uh, import your Exodus EOS tokens. So if you've already registered on the Exodus wallet, this allows you to easily import them from Exodus. Also, it lets you uh, import just your private keys. Very simple, easy to use, and good-looking interface here by Simple EOS. It looks very similar to the Exodus wallet. If you guys know anything about the Exodus wallet, and I know some of you guys were holding the ERC20 
EOS tokens there when they were on the Ethereum blockchain. You guys registered them on the Exodus wallet. And you can go in there and get your public and private keys so that you can either use Scatter, uh, Simple EOS, Gray Mass. And um, Simple EOS so far it looks like the sexiest wallet I've seen so far. I haven't used it yet. And I'll tell you guys why. It's so new. Uh, I'm still, you know, making sure it's legit. But so far, it looks legit. Uh, right now, like I said, um, the most popular method of logging in to the EOS blockchains is the Scatter. So I definitely give that a thumbs up, although I haven't used it yet. The one I'm using, guys, is this uh, Gray Mass EOS Voter, which allows you to vote, uh, transfer tokens, and update your staked EOS. Okay, I'm not sure if you could create accounts on that. Uh, but another toolkit that is really good, guys, that I uh, also recommend using is the EOS toolkit by Jenner EOS. Now, finally, there was another wallet that I got that I wanted to mention here on this video. And I found it by searching uh, this article here, uh, Infinito Wallet. There it is, Infin the, the, the world's first universal wallet. Now, this is not vetted. This is the first time I'm hearing about this. So let me know if this is legit, if this is a boomer or a doomer. So Infinito Wallet is a universal wallet, and it supports Bitcoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, EOS, Litecoin, Gas, Dash, and other tokens. Okay, so apparently... This wallet recently updated their, 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 their software to support the new EOS mainnet. Okay, so let's go ahead and recap. There is no hardware wallets just yet. Cypher Glass is offering a bounty for EOS hardware wallets. $50,000 for the Ledger Nano S and $50,000 for the Treasure Bounty, uh, Treasure Hardware to whoever can create support for the EOS coins. There is no hardware wallets yet, but there is software wallets. Scatter is appearing to be the most popular method of locking into the blockchain. Uh, again, it's a Chrome extension, get-scatter.com. There's plenty of videos out there that show you how to set it up. Uh, I don't have it installed here on this browser, so I can't show you here on this video, but so far I've heard it's legit. This allows you to log in to the toolkit, the Jenner EOS the io toolkit again uh you know i really like this toolkit this web this is basically a web wallet and uh because it was created to my liking i went ahead and voted for general eos uh using the gray mass wallet actually you know i actually voted for them using the gray mass wallet you guys could see uh some of the other block producer candidates that i voted for by checking out this article but here's again a screenshot of the eos voter uh, wallet by gray mass so so far the gray mass wallet is the one i use okay you have this eos toolkit that could be easily accessed with scatter and then you have simple eos which is appearing to be the best looking wallet that i've seen so far i haven't used it yet but i'll tell you i've gotten uh several comments several comments about this simple eos by eos rio and uh it seems legit and uh, might I add that I also voted for EOS Rio for block producer candidates. So as soon as I saw uh, Jenner EOS and Simp uh, EOS Rio creating these tools, uh, they earned my vote. So I went back after I created that video voting for block producers and I voted for them on top of uh, some of the other block producers. Again, if you want to uh, learn more about using the EOS Green Mass uh, wallet, uh, go ahead to this post that I'll have linked down below, EOS Block Producer Voting with Gray Mass Wallet. You can see who I voted for, uh, Block Producers. And um, let me know what you think about this wallet, the Infinito Wallet. Uh, this is the first time I'm hearing about it. I don't know if it's legit or not. This may be funny bunny, okay? So I'm not using it. I just found it, and uh, apparently it supports some of the bigger coins. Uh, I don't know if it's legit or not. Um, I'm just throwing it out there, and I basically I'm asking questions. I want to know if, what do you think about it. Uh, the Infinito Wallet.io apparently they do support the EU, new EOS mainnet. But yeah, guys, I'm excited. Let me know if you know about any other software wallets or web wallets that exist out there. Uh, I want to continue covering it. Big shout out goes to all the crypto maniacs, all the EOS maniacs out there on the blockchain. Uh, creating history this is the first blockchain with a constitution okay and um you know it's it's basically sending setting a president precedent for uh blockchain governance guys uh blockchain governance like no other uh i'm excited about it uh and again 
there's people out there that are criticizing the EOS blockchain, saying that it's centralized. And uh, I've talked about that before. Okay, it's important that you guys do your own research, make your own decisions, be responsible for your own movements, secure your own bags, your private keys. It's the crypto maniac way. Be responsible out there, guys. Uh, so, you know, do your own research. I may be biased. I think that EOS is a social experiment like no other. It shows a lot of promise and I'm excited to take part in the voting process and uh, in the blockchain uh governance process here guys i'm excited okay guys drop a comment below i would love to hear your feedback uh, about these wallets which are the boomers which are the doomers and did i miss uh, any wallets you know i know the simple eos right now it, it, apparently this one's the hottest one on the nets right now i haven't used it but i've seen a few videos floating out there and it looks sexy it looks sexy so i may just start using this one because it looks almost exactly like the exodus wallet and uh, Exodus is one of my favorite wallets for cryptocurrency. Uh, it just happens to be that Exodus has yet to support the new EOS mainnet. Okay, guys, drop a comment below. It's the voice of the blockchain here, Satoshi's big cousin, cryptography's finest, Champagne Crypto. Thanks for tuning in.